I'm thrifting today with a friend of mine. This is Cindy. <laughs> She's like a quilt expert and we are gonna be looking specifically for linens. Let's go see. So this is Cindy's first time ever at the bins. <laughs> so this is gonna be super exciting. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> well, it's good to know it works. Thanks. Cindy. Here, Cindy. Oh my goodness. Where'd you find that? Down there. Now we are headed to Boulder after this to go vote. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh. Well, that's interesting. That's um, Harry Styles. Yeah. Size doesn't matter. Nope. It's just literally thrown in here and you just have to, <laughs> to dig. Oh. <laughs> my, well, my first thought was it was, it's imported. But you know, I don't think it is. I don't think it is either, especially look at this. Yeah. It's got the hanging rod, right? Huh. Yeah. Hmm. Cool. So we've got a beginner sampler here. Oh, look, there's names on it. Oh, that's and even sadder. I know, it hurts my heart that somebody put so much care and effort and love into this, and mm -hmm. it's in it's in this. So, I was thinking, wouldn't it be fun, with all the quilts that we do find, mm -hmm. having a quilt show? Yes. Is that would. feasible? Yeah. Sure. Now, not all of it came from the bins today, but right. this is the one that you originally appraised. Right. right. And I keep your book. Cool. With the appraisal all together. So this is the amazing one that you already yes. looked at and appraised for me. This and I was grateful. Right. I want to show your book because I gotta get this. This, yeah, this I book, wrote that. This lady wrote that. Over ten years. She literally wrote the book on crazy quilts. So oh, I have this is a wedding ring. Right. Double wedding ring. And it looks like it's in pretty great shape. It's, uh -huh. This is a butterfly right which I have one like this only green that they made for my dad huh. when he was born and it's never been washed huh. but this one since it's not from okay. my family and it's been washed I might find something fun to do with it those are both depression era really oh yeah cool this one is not this one's more recent the fabric feels like it, mm -hmm. but I think it's got the best colors. Mm -hmm. What do they call this pattern? This one's called a grandmother's flower garden. Ah, cool. Except uh, in the old days, they just called it flower garden. It's not until oh. the 30s they start to call it grandmother's flower garden. And then another one of the yeah. same pattern. Yeah. But I like the muted colors on this one. Very nice. But this Very is the nice. one that I was excited about. Ah. Because oh, I remember I you why. Yeah. talking about the weighted silks and uh -huh. how pretty it was. Uh -huh. And but I'm not you, even sure what this is. I think this is a 60s piece, though. 60s, really? 70s, yeah. It's okay. Got, it's got polyester in it. Ah. And see, polyester comes on in the mid 50s. Okay. You have rayon also. This is cool. Yeah. A yeah. horse piece right there. See the horse piece? Yeah. It Beautiful. feels like they might be old. Um, Ties. ties yeah yeah or or I maybe even so. handkerchiefs some of them maybe yeah but now that yeah. you say that that probably does look very 70s to me too yeah what is this though do you think um it doesn't feel like velvet maybe it is velvet but it's older right that's what i think why you started to get excited oh. this is a pretty this is an older piece faded. yeah mm -hmm. a velvet yeah but yeah. the, the horse piece Anything graphic like that adds yeah. interest and it adds value. Mm, super so. cool. I don't know. I was excited and I just knew that. Very nice. Yeah. Well, so anyway, all of them I got item. here at the bins. Cool. So I paid 49 cents a pound for these. Amazing, huh? Mm -hmm. Yay. Cool. 
and I hope that we can put some of these in the show. I think we could. I'm excited. I think we could. So very cool to have you come and hang out with me. And I'm glad you got to go to the winds for the first time. Thank you for asking me. I, we might need to come back. Just, you know, maybe. Quite the experience. Yes. It is. For the Although, first time, what do you think? <laughs> well, it can be a little frightening, you know, when they bring out the new trays. It's like a shark feeding frenzy. Yes. Yeah, but a little that. bit like piranhas. A little yes. Bit. Yeah. yeah. I did not get smacked, but I think they thought about it. So... <laughs> You just gotta go in there with elbows. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's fine. Amongst all the junk, there's there's some good buys in there. Too. Yeah. yeah, there's some cool stuff. Yeah. You guys got a carlo too, didn't you? Yeah, we did. We got a nice goose down comforter. Unbelievable. For Forty nine cents a pound. That's so cool. Yeah. I appreciate you guys so much. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I will check you guys out later. Okay, so besides the quilts that I just picked up a couple of days ago, that. She really liked getting a chance to see. I'm so grateful that she got to come in and check things out. Um, she's a super sweet lady and she knows a lot of stuff. So it's really neat to sort of collaborate with people and learn things from other people. She knows a lot about antiques, knows a lot about um, fabrics and textiles um, and has the ability to authenticate and appraise textiles and I think also china and crocs and mm, pottery and ceramics. I'm not sure but I know that um, she has a website, she has um, a great following and she really knows her stuff when it comes to quilts. But what did I pick up whenever I was there? I got a small load so <laughs> I've been to the bins a lot in the last couple days. So you've got a lot of videos that are gonna be coming out about those adventures, but, so because of that, I didn't pick up as many things as I probably normally would have because I gotta get cleaned, I gotta get it photographed, I gotta get, you know, listed, I've got, you know, I got work to do. <laughs> and I wanna make sure that I don't overextend myself. So that's why I didn't pick up as many things, but I got some great stuff, so let me show you. And it really is just a couple of things. Okay, when I picked this up, <laughs> Cindy looked at me and she's like, what is that? <laughs> this is a mountain climbing harness. So it's a black diamond, which is a good brand. But this is 25 to 39, somewhere at 25 to $40, somewhere in that range. Um, these things go around your legs. This goes around your waist. And then you put all your carabiners on this and then you like climb up the side of a mountain. Well. I don't, other people do. <laughs> They've got special shoes to go with this. There's a lot of special equipment, but I know that a black diamond is a good one to have. And we can find a lot of these things in Colorado, so it's always something that I'm looking for and I grab whenever I see. Okay, this I kind of just had to have because oh, he's so cute. Oh, he's just adorable. This is his like oversized sweatshirt with Harry Styles on it that says, uh, love on tour. Oh, is he not adorable or is it just me? I think he's adorable. Okay, so this is on a SoCal tag and it says it's a size 2XL. Mm, I just thought it was great and it feels nice too. So, and then this. I love picking up these kind of baskets. I love these kind of baskets. So, there was another one that was smaller that somebody else picked up, but. I was really happy to get this one. I have sold baskets like this, uh, similar to this, for fifty to eighty dollars. Uh, some of them even more. Some of them can be, you know, one hundred and twenty-five, one hundred and fifty, three hundred or more, depending on the print, um, which tribe they're from. They're just really cool. So. Uh, and with the way everybody's doing basketballs right now, this is so perfect, but I love these baskets. So this one was pretty exciting. This is what I found today. This is what I brought home today. Um, I know that Cindy found some great stuff. Also that duvet cover that she was talking about was like a $900 duvet cover. So it wasn't a duvet cover, it was something else. It was a, a down comforter, you know, you put a, du you put a duvet on the thing that she found. So anyway, very cool to hang out with her. It's always nice to collaborate with different people 
I hope you're out there hanging out with good friends and thrifting and keeping stuff out of the landfill and doing what you can. So if you had a good time, if you know that we had a good time, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe, tell your friends, leave a comment, all those good things. And I will see you next time. I'll see you in the bins.